New and five, the Limestone County Sheriff is under investigation for possibly violating an Alabama ethics law. Thanks for joining us. I'm Demetri McClinton. And I'm Dan Schaefer. Sheriff Mike Blakely told Way 31 he doesn't believe he's done anything wrong. Yeah, I totally disagree with the, respectfully disagree with the Ethics Commission's finding, and I look forward to it being thoroughly vetted by the Attorney General's office. Tonight, his case has been handed over to the Alabama Attorney General's office. Way 31, Sydney Martin is live at the Sheriff's office after working to learn more about the Alabama Ethics Commission's decision. Sydney. Dan Demetria, the Ethics Commission discussed the evidence against Mike Blakely behind closed doors, and he told us he didn't travel to Montgomery for today's meeting because he didn't know about the allegations against him. In a 4-0 to vote Wednesday morning, the Alabama Ethics Commission voted to send a case about Limestone County Sheriff Mike Blakely to the Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall's office. One person on the commission abstained from voting. Based on the evidence that's presented to this commission, that exists code code that Mike Blakely has violated the Alabama Ethics Law. The commission didn't present any of the evidence used to make their decision during the open meeting, so it's unclear what law Blakely might have violated. Way 31 sat down with Sheriff Blakely after the decision was made by the commission, and he told us he hasn't violated any ethics laws. I look forward to it being thoroughly vetted by the Attorney General's office, which I feel sure that will be vindicated once that happens. Blakely's attorney told us he doesn't know what allegations are made against his client, so it would be impossible for them to address. Way 31 asked people in Limestone County about the investigation into the sheriff. No one felt comfortable commenting without knowing more information about the case. Now, I reached out to Alabama Attorney General Steve Marshall's office today about this case. We're still waiting to hear back from them tonight. In Limestone County, Sydney Martin, Way 31 News. All right.